We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, I want to begin painting this Fulgrim Primark Mini. And our first step is going to be to create a nice vibrant purple armor. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. We're going to begin painting by airbrushing a few layers on. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix my own paints. Our first color is going to be Nagaroth Night. Now to turn this into an airbrush paint, I'm just going to take a clean pot. I'm going to take a little bit of my paint, put it in the pot and mix it with the medium of my choice. Now, usually I use water. However, water can be a little bit unwieldy and it is not necessarily the easiest medium to work with. So I recommend using whatever airbrushing medium works for you. I also recommend playing with a few different types so that you can find out the different ways each medium works and how it applies to the mini in different ways. So I'm going to mix my paint at about 65% paint, 35% water. I want to make sure that I play around with the consistency so I get something that covers my model with decent coverage. However, I don't want it to gloop anywhere. I don't want it to run anywhere because it's too thin. And I don't want it to get stuck in my airbrush and clog up my airbrush. It kind of just takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out what consistency works really well for your airbrush and your minis and the medium that you're using. I'm using an Awada HP CS Eclipse. I've got it connected to a Badger air compressor and I usually keep my pressure at about 25 PSI. And I just want to carefully spray this all over the Fulgrim armored areas. I want to do lots of little light layers to make sure that I have a really smooth, even consistency to my paint so it doesn't build up anywhere and I'm just doing really thin, controlled layers of color until I get a really nice, even coat. Now there's lots of areas on this miniature that are slightly harder to reach, so I need to make sure that I tilt my mini back and forth so I can get this color all over all of the armor areas, even the places that are hidden by the cloak or under the feet. For this dark purple color, I really want to make sure that I get this over all of the armor plates. And once one layer of paint has dried, if I feel like it's not a consistent color, I can go ahead and apply a second thin layer to make sure that I get really nice coverage. Once we finished coating everything with that Nagaroth Knight, our next color is going to be Zarius Purple. I'm going to mix this color the same way, and I'm going to be spraying this over most of the armor plates. However, I want to avoid the areas that are going to be in the most shadow, really just leaving that area the very dark purple and getting this slightly lighter purple on all of the areas that are easy for the light to reach. Again, I want to apply this in thin layers, going over the model multiple times as each layer dries until I get a level of brightness that I'd like. Our next layer is gonna be Jean Steeler Purple. Now this color actually does have a Citadel Air equivalent if you'd like to use it. If you choose to use that color, however, I recommend thinning it down just a little bit extra so that you really have a very sheer paint for this next layer. So this is mainly going on the top of the shoulder armor, on the top of this leg that is bent and kind of leaping, and the top of the arms that are easy to get to. All right, now that we finished with that highlight of Jean Steeler Purple, we're going to add a little bit of shadow around the edges of all of the armor plates and especially all of the scroll work that we're going to be painting gold later. We're going to do that using Druchi Violet. We're going to take a small detail brush and we're going to paint this the consistency it is right out of the pot. However, we wanna make sure that we do a very thin layer so as we apply it, we're going to move it around and make sure that we get a nice even coat and we spread the paint as far as we can so that it doesn't pool anywhere and dry really thick. 
Each of these armor plates has a very thin outline that we want to get this color into. And then we want to get all of the scroll work, especially on the breastplate and the shoulders and the legs. There's lots of intricate designs and we want to outline all of them with this Druchi Violet color. Once we've applied our Druchi Violet and let it dry, we're going to add a few more brush highlights. Our first one, we're going to mix a little bit of Zarya's Purple with the color Emperor's Children. And we're adding a little bit of Lamian Medium to make sure that we have a really nice thin paint that's got a really good flow to it. I'm mixing the Emperor's Children with Zarya's Purple as opposed to Jean Stiller Purple. The Jean Stiller Purple is a slightly more gray purple and I really want these colors to be really vibrant. So by mixing it with the Zarius Purple, which is a little bit more saturated, I'm making my color a little bit brighter, a little bit more vibrant. Now I'm going to pick the areas that are going to be the brightest and I'm going to start slowly, carefully layering this highlight on those areas. I want to make sure that I try and leave that thin line of Druchi Violet as an outline around all of the scroll work. And again, I'm really concentrating this mostly on this upraised leg, on the areas of the arm armor that are in light, the top of the shoulders, anywhere where the light would hit the armor if it were shining directly above. After we've added a little bit of a brighter highlight, we're going to add a, another final highlight using Pure Emperor's Children. I really just want to apply this color on the very top areas where I really want to accentuate the brightness of the armor. I want to apply this with a thin paint. I've heard it described as having a milky consistency. I'm just going to slowly layer it onto those areas that I want to be the brightest. If I feel like the color is too intense and the contrast is too stark with the layer underneath, I can go back with that mixture of Zarius Purple and blend the transition a little bit so that there's a smoother gradient. I also want to use this Emperor's Children highlight to do a hard line highlight on some of the areas that have a really defined line. The best example of this is all of the armor plates that overlap on the feet. It's really eye-catching to highlight the very top of each of those lines so that they're very defined. And after that final highlight of Emperor's Children, the purple base coat of these armor plates is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to do the long purity seals that are coming off the cloak in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.